And thanks for tuning in to Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. We're showing Secret Agent X9 chapters 6 through 10 with Lloyd Bridges. Growing up as a kid, Lloyd Bridges was mostly known as Mike Nelson from Sea Hunt. You might also recall him as an airplane. He was in the control tower. So here we go with Secret Agent X9, the 1945 serial, chapters 6 through 10. Thanks again. the man the borough. Do you bring me a message from Takahata, your boss? No, they left me watching the Dupre Hotel when they went after Browder, who was trying to escape. You're not supposed to leave your station. I know, but I found out that Browder is still in the hotel with Alphonse. So, X-9 is misleading Takahari and Bach, making them think that he is Browder. Perhaps X-9 has outsmarted himself. <laughs> Stay on the road. You didn't hit him. Dr. Hari, look. That's not Browder. Secret Agent X9. Faster, Bach. Faster. I won't miss him this time. I went up that side road we passed. I can't see my head. Maybe so, but we'd better get back. He led us out here to give off Fong a chance to question Browder and then hide him. I think you're right. Are you sure you've overlooked nothing, Browder? I'm not holding out on you, La Fong. All I know is that tonight they're bringing in better motion pictures of the guy I saw on the screen. But he is an American. Yes, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> Go and see what he's up 
to do as I ask, Garfang. You are making a fatal mistake. It would be a mistake to betray my country. By refusing to do so, I merely lose my life. I regret your decision. Chinese and Japanese should work together. Work together for the prosperity of Japan? The degradation of China? No. Thank you. You have made your choice. It is unimportant whether you talk voluntarily or involuntarily. I beg your pardon, Abura. There are some who abhor disgrace more than they fear pain. Brave words do not make bravery. Think about it until night comes. Stay with our fun and make sure, Yogo, he does not trick you. It is ridiculous. Bring through all the trouble of reproducing Professor Raymond's office at Lantern University. On the contrary, Captain Groot, it is necessary. The man we select to impersonate Professor Raymond must be thoroughly familiar with everything concerning the one place where he can steal what we need. The talking motion pictures that are coming from Germany will show him the professor's mannerisms. If he can pass for Raymond, he won't have any difficulty with the filing case. Arfan refuses to cooperate. Whoever expected him to. The sooner our fung is put on the submarine, the sooner Kodakara can start working on him. You amaze me, Captain Groot. I have always understood that Germans are patient and thorough. Yes, where such qualities are needed. All we need now... We is need 722, Professor Raymond's formula that he thinks is an unsuccessful experiment in explosives. And which we know is a perfect substitute for aviation gas. I'm quite aware of all that. That's why I suggest you let Germany send a man to Lancaster University. Twice your people have been smuggled into America twice captured and executed. No, Captain Groot. Military intelligence will handle this affair without interference from Berlin. And without any interference, I hope, from the American agent next line. Still around, Corrigan? Makes you think I wouldn't be. Nothing in particular. 
Undercover agents, when they're known, usually don't survive this climate. Some do, Solo. Maybe I'm one of them. I've got something for you, Marker. It was thrown at me a few minutes ago. Check it for fingerprints. And then return it to its owner with my compliments. Where's Camber? In his office. Thanks. You can forget those fingerprints, Marker. Give the knife to Nabora. She'll know who it belongs to. See you, Camber. I'm sorry I can't say the same. I'm looking for our farm. I haven't seen him. He was taken by force from Papa Pierre's this morning. Why are you telling me this? Because you own this island and pretend to govern it. There's no pretending about it. Shadow Island is run my way. People paying me to stay here, do as I say or they don't remain long. Okay, we'll talk about that some other time. Right now, our farm's disappearance is the important thing. <laughs> Well, he works for you, doesn't he? He's supposed to have your protection. While he's working for me. Not while he's working for you, Parker. Does that mean you're not going to do anything to help find him? I told you before I wasn't interested in anything you undercover men do. That leaves it up to me, then, huh? Yeah. I've looked all over this town today trying to locate our farm. I know all about that. But there's still one place that I haven't looked. The interned German liner. The Lorelei is German property under my protection according to international neutrality laws. I would advise you not to go snooping around the Lorelei. Nevertheless, that's exactly where I'm headed. Hey, Corrigan. There's a phone call for you. Thanks. Hello, Corrigan. This is Lynn, Phil. I'll do the talking. People can overhear you. Okay, you said it for me. When I got to the speedboat, Nabora was there and told me my broadcast was canceled. She didn't want me around. Do you suppose she's having off on taken to the submarine? We'll have to find out. I thought so. I'll watch Nabora. You'd better get to the boat landing. Yeah, right away. Hopefully. Very tricky. There ain't no tricks I don't know. He'll stay put. You know where to meet the submarine. The signal to you? Look, I ain't no kid. I said yes before. Rendezvous with speedboat, sir. Reduce speed. Three quarters. Reduce speed. Three quarters. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Quickly, Phil. 
Motion picture film is coming to the island tonight from Germany by Japanese plane. Motion picture film? Browder told me. All we have to do is to identify the American in the film, and we'll know about 722. Where are they landing it? I've told you all that Browder knew. Oh, well, it may not be of a dead end at that. Lynn's following the Bura. You had better come to the office with me, Takahari. You stay in the car, bar. As soon as I get the report, Takahari and you can leave for the meeting. I'm happy to see you, Alphonse. No more happy than I, Lynn. Any luck? I saw Nabura and Bach in the side street near her office. Nabura ordered Bach to stay in the car until Takahari came back with news. About where to find the film, I'll bet. The radio message from the plane had just been received and telephone to Nabura. Any change in the plan? None. The film will be dropped when we signal. Yeah, we'll... out there. Take care of the light. I'll get it. I'm wrapping it for me.
it is useless for me to run this whole film, Captain Groot. I need more recent photographs of Professor Raymond and a soundtrack of his voice. As you know, Hakahima, the new film is on its way to Shadow Island from Germany, by way of Japan. You will not have to wait much longer, Hakahima. Ah, so, Nabura, the plane is bringing it. Yes, the can of film is to be dropped in a field where Takahari and Bach will pick it up. Takahari and Bach didn't know Phil was riding with him, but he... But the risk he is taking will be justified if we arrive in time to help get the film from Nabura's man. Unwrapping it for me. Get him out here. Well, I was pretty lucky at that. I tripped, fell on my face, and knocked myself out, so Bach and Takahari left me for dead. Yes. But had we gotten here earlier, we'd probably have the film as well as you. If I had to choose between you and the film, I think I'd choose you. Thank you, Lynn. You know something? The identity of the miracle in that newsreel is the key to 722. Whatever the plan is, there's no doubt that it threatens the success of the United Nations. The mysterious official sent from Tokyo has some connection with it. So the men who have disappeared after the Boer interviewed them. But where does she hide them and show the motion picture? I don't know. I wish the intern German liner. The Lorelei. Let me off the pier. I've been on her before. I'll take Lynn to the House of Shadows and come back. No, I've got another job for you, Alphonse. I think I know of a way to make Lucky Camber help us against Nabura. understand when I say that I need many fighting cases to hold the records of my unsuccessful efforts. Only father wants to hold the records of my accomplishments. And in conclusion, I wish to assure my worthy colleagues that I'm exhausting every means possible to develop new explosives. But until each formula has been tested and proved practical, I should withhold it from public use. It is important that you remember this man's speech characteristic. Soft-spoken, easily understood, pulling his ear. I got you. I thought I was Take them back to the cabin, Yogo. I will not need them again until later. 
Your training is progressing very rapidly, Hakuhima. Have you decided which of your students is best fitted to impersonate Professor Albert Raymond? Not yet, Nabura. The man chosen must be able to imitate Raymond's slightest idiosyncrasy. Ah, you are too careful, Hakahima. All this stuff has to do is to impersonate Raymond long enough to copy Formula 722, which you will find in his office files, and then disappear. How can the double get to the office without his being discovered if he does not act exactly as Dr. Raymond does? Captain Groot forgets. Raymond does not realize that one of his unsuccessful experiments in explosives is a perfect substitute for aviation gasoline. That is why the entire plan to get 722 depends upon no one ever suspecting the true value of the formula. Least of all, X-9. Welcome, X-9. You underestimate the vigilance of the men selected to guard the Lorelei. So I see. When the guard reported that you were on board, I was disappointed. I had just been assured that you were dead. That's what makes our work so interesting, Nabura. You can never be sure of anything. Yes, that is often true. Not this time, however, if you please. That's the wish. You're curious to know how much you have found out about 722. I can imagine. Lorelei? That is Captain Groot? Ah, Takahari. For you, Nabura. What is it, Takahari? Miss Moore is here and thinks it is important to speak to you. Very well. Nabora, report, please. Our Fong is with Lucky Camber at the House of Shadows, and I think it has something to do with you and the Lorelei. Ah, so. Thank you. I will attend to the matter at once. I am sorry, but I must forego the pleasure of helping you question X-9 for a little while. Is 
Is Alphonse still with Campbell? Yes, Nabur, he is. But he came out for a while and talked with Marker. Thank you. Our Japanese tiger lily apparently anticipates what our fong is up to. That's all right with me. If Lucky was smart, he'd get what X-9 and Nabura are after. Then threaten each of them that he'd give it to the other. Maybe you're right at that, Solo. That's not unusual, Marker. And that's how it is, Nabura. The Lorelei is interned here under international neutrality laws. And Captain Groos has to obey those laws the same as I do. Ah, so. Ah Fong accuses Captain Groot of violating his neutrality. Captain Groot is using the Lorelei for the headquarters of your espionage activities. Have you agreed to help Ah Fong? I help nobody but me. Bring me proof. If he does, I'll keep the Lorelei so empty. Drop a pin in her and she'll rattle. You resemble the Chinese, Mr. Camber. Their stubbornness is a knife with which they stab themselves. I beg your pardon, Abura. Old Japanese custom. You call it harakiri. Don't expect any protection from me, Afong. You were one swell fan tan dealer, but uh, I don't hire spies. Of course, Mr. Campbell. That would not be neutral either. You are making a fortune through your ownership of Shadow Island? Thanks to taxes, gambling, and uh, fugitives from other countries who are willing to pay to stay here. Not bad. If your island were occupied, there would be no profit. I know. I know. My neutrality depends on Shadow Island's usefulness to Japan. That's why I left that old Nazi tub alone. A practical man is always practical. This complaint of our fun against Captain Groot is a move by X-9 to compel you to act, aiding him, of course. But at present, X-9 is my prisoner on the Lorelei. Is our song in Mr. Corrigan's room, Mama Pierre? Oui, oui, mon petit. Our family is there. And uh, the so nice Monsieur Corrigan. You expect him, yes? We expect him. No. I should listen at Canberra's own phone. Having you telephone Nabura so we could hear what she and Canberra said is the smartest move Phil has made yet. When he shows Canberra that newsreel... Phil doesn't have the newsreel. Nabura has him. I heard her tell Lucky. Go back to House of Shadows, then. You're invaluable to the United Nations as the quizzling you pretend to be. Nobody can take your place broadcasting propaganda for the Japanese. I know. Duty. I'll get some men I can trust and go after Phil. Good luck. Captain's group waited for Nabura to return. When he comes, he will show her how a man can be chilled, just cold enough to suffer agony, yet never cold enough to die. Even the great X-9 will be more than eager to tell us everything. Oh, now, now, Bach, not everything. Even Japs and Nazis aren't that curious, are they? Everything. Inside, swine. <laughs> Thank you. 
telephone for you to come here, too. Boss is taking X-9 now to the refrigerating rooms. What do you want me to do? Take charge of the guards on the ship. Our Fong probably knows that X-9 is on board. Now, Bora is right, Takahari. I've come for X-9 and proof for Camber. You have a small revolver. Let me have it, please. Hold them here until I get back with X-9. Nine. I'll stand guard here. Take care of the bodies. Bodies? There's only one. Two. This should keep X-9 uncomfortable until Nabor and Captain Groot arrive. Get off that machine and release X-9. Nabora kindly told me where to find you, but as I did not know the ship, it took me a little longer to get here than I wished. Unfortunately for you, Arfong. I am better acquainted with the Lorelei. Put him in with X-9. Mr. Corrigan and Jane get Mama Pierre. No, Madame. I have not seen them come in. But uh, perhaps Papa will know. Have you heard from Alphonse since he left to go to Lorelei to find out what happened to Phil? 
You hear, Mama? Why would anyone want to go to an interned German liner? <laughs> Why anyone would ask Papa the question and expect the answer? That I do not know. To Mamsel's question, there is only one answer, Mama. Monsieur Corrigan, he was in trouble. Afon went to help him. Now Afon, he is in trouble too. Even if we let him. You mean it's ready to explode? Any minute. Chinese friend? No, come with us. No, Hatahima, we don't go below decks now. Not until I get a report on what happened. You seem to overestimate my importance, Captain Jules. The work can be completed now without me. What Nabura does with you is her own business. You and she are Japanese. But I, as German, I don't want to be responsible for anything happening to you. Not when 722 is involved. It was the liquid air freeze involved, just as we suspected. No one was hurt. But our phone and X-9 escaped. From the lower line or just from down there? From down there. They must have leave the ship. Parker Dima. That's the name of Nabura's mysterious visitor from Tokyo. Yeah, we find him and can't nab him. Anyway, we know his name and where to locate him next time. You didn't come on this ship looking for him, but for a newsreel. At least we could carry that away with us. Not unless we can pick it up on the fly. I don't see it around for any place, do you? Well, it's a cinch we can't stop the hunt for it now. This is the last place to look for it. I know, but let's not wait to find out how long it lasts. Why that way? They've got the pier guarded. Our only chance is to get to the other side of the ship and overboard. There's no use waiting or hoping any longer. I've got to get back to the house of shadow. Phil, where's our phone? In my room. He's safe, too. We had to swim for it and then get away from the board's men on shore, but we finally made it. Am I glad to see you and hear that. <laughs> tells me he saved him, Alphonse. It is only important that he's alive and knows the identity of Nabura's secret visitor from Tokyo, a man named Hakahima. Hakahima? Uh-huh. Unfortunately, we couldn't bring him with us. Too busy getting away yourselves, I imagine. Did you get the film? No. There was motion picture equipment in the salon, but no can of film lying around. At least we know more now than before. A little. More than that. This Hakahima is training someone chosen by Nabura from Occidental fugitives on the island to impersonate the American on the film. Yes, but we have to identify that American before we have a direct lead to 722. You will. You're also sure Tokyo is using the number to designate some big new move against the United Nations. Yes, but that's all we know, and that's not enough. Are you broadcasting tonight? If Nabura gives the word, why? Ask Australia to forward Akihima's name to Washington. You know, 
There's a chance that he might have been to the United States. I hope he was. I noticed a, a telephone in Groot's cabin. That means there must be a temporary line to shore. You know where it goes? Next door to here, in the boiler's office. I thought so. Why hunt for the newsreel? Akihim is what we want. He can identify the American in the film and also give us the answer to 722. Of one thing I am certain, neither X-9 nor R. Fong had any opportunity of learning anything while they were on the Lorelei. Unless it was something about Hakahima. They might have been in the salon at one time while Hakahima and I were here. You say that as if you have some reason to believe it. It's such a little thing, but I remember now. The door to the salon seemed closed when we left here with Yogel to search for them. It was open when we returned. Knowing my name would not help them any. But your name can be traced to the United States. You studied there with Professor Albert Raymond. But how can they? You see, I was sent to Lanfield University under a different name. Japanese military intelligence makes few mistakes, Captain Group. Our secret is still safe. They do not know that we are training a man to impersonate Raymond. And even Raymond does not suspect that we can mix one of its unsuccessful explosives with the still water, and it becomes a perfect substitute for aviation gasoline. Yeah, yeah, you made the discovery accidentally. But Takahima, the sooner you train the man who is to go to America posing as Raymond... You have seen this picture of Raymond before. It is an enlargement on the newsreel. Can you train a man to impersonate him any faster? The man is ready now. What is so difficult about copying Formula 722 from Raymond's file? Captain Cook. He will be 7,000 miles away from us, on his own with no one to coach. Therefore, he must be able to impersonate Raymond perfectly, and that takes time. We shall have only this one chance to gain an independent fuel supply. One chance for final access victory, Captain Groot. And you want to hurry. This note came by messenger to the pier. Bach and Takahari questioned him. He said Camber gave it to him. Come at once. X-9 claims a man named Hakuhima is illegally on board the Lorelei, which is interned under international neutrality. X-9 accuses Groot and demands that I act. You are right, Groot. X-9 heard you and Hakuhima talking. Bach and Takahari will go with me. I shall force extra guards. Nobody is going to take Hakuhima or me off my ship. is closer to 722, I guess, than he ever was before. You should be nearer than that. Japan won't move against you if you can threaten to turn the secret over to X-9. I'm inclined to agree with you, Solo. Something tells me Nabura's in for an unpleasant surprise. Somebody's a clever forger. <laughs> this looks like my handwriting, but I didn't write it. Seems real. Are you tricking me? Sending men to the Lorelei, perhaps, while I am here? I don't go back on customers. And you're paying protection for Hakahima. X-9 was not here? No. No, but that's probably who your phony note came from. Go to the submarine. Tell Captain Korakaga I shall radio him off your broadcast. All right, Nabura. See if X-9 is at your praise. Where will you be, Kate? Back on the Lorelei. The report by telephone from your office. Get busy on that phone, I'll follow. Captain Groot? This is Takahari, calling from Nabura's office. What is it, Takahari? Nabura wants Hakahima to come here at once. Hakahima? Ah, uh, so. And hurry. Very fast, please. All right, Takahari. Good. You are a good forger. I'm a good imitator. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give this place a watch over, huh? Nothing 
here, and the boar is too clever for that. Say, we'd better intercept Akihima. The boar is liable to be here any minute with Bach and Takahara. Pardon, please. You wait here for Akihima. Then we'll take you to Nabura. Get Akihima. I'll take care of these two. Get over next to the table. Hello? Bob? No. No, Nabura. This is X-9. Ah, uh, so. And Bach and Takahari? Don't worry about them, Nabura. They'll be here when you want them. X-9 has Hakihima, Bach, and Takahari. And there's nothing more to do. You underestimate me, Groot. X-9 found out that Papa Pierre does not use this wine cellar anymore, and so we are occupying it without his permission. Bach and Takahari won't follow us now. Don't brace yourself for torture. Americans don't work that way. Relax, it's easy to talk. I'm a scientist. Bushido, the Japanese code of warrior honor, does not appeal to me. Bushido can appeal to no reasonable man of goodwill. I don't want to go to the United States. And I cannot tell you what you want to know. Because then, I can never return to Japan. The Buddha couldn't help but know who told you. You can be sure you won't return to Japan if you don't give us the information we want. What would you do if I explained how you can... how you can learn all about 722 without throwing suspicion on me? Once I was sure you told the truth, we let you escape. There is a secret headquarters at the other end of the town. Tell Nabura I got a lead to it by searching her office. That would help protect me. You better stay here with Akihima. How do I get to the headquarters? I've never been there. But I have heard Nabura talk about it and can direct you. Fortunately, I can be sure of success this time. So certain that I am having group radio Captain Kodakaga to relay my message of assurance to Tokyo. And so, Australians, day by day, Asia rallies to the cause of Japan. Asia wants Asia for the Asiatics. Asia believes that Japan is her champion. That is why I will now treat you with Call myself Miss Australia to identify my nationality and warn you. Make peace with Japan before it is too late. Good night. You know, every time I hear Miss Moore, I, I hate to think what would happen if the Japs ever find out she's an Australian secret agent. So do I. No decorations too good for her. She gave us the urgent signal, so she's got a code message for us in this broadcast. Message coming from the Lorelei, sir. As Miss Moore said it would the moment she was finished. In code? No, sir. Relay Tokyo. Akihima captured by X-9. But will act according to plan and send X-9 into a pre-arranged trap. Anticipated that someday, perhaps, Hakihima might become your guest, X-9. And so I arranged with Hakihima to send you here, where men always tell me what I want to know. Turn around and look at the floor, X-9.
Life will be spared if you will tell me where Hakahima is hidden. Let's confess, Nabor, I'd like to be able to tell you. But right now, Hakahima's more important to the United Nations than I am. <laughs> There could be no mistake. Tokyo acknowledge our message. Yes, sir. Tokyo received the report I transmitted from the borough about Hakahima. I do not like your attitude, Hakahima. A true Oriental never permits words to betray emotion. How far you are worried about X-9. Having experienced Japanese treachery before, I am not ashamed to admit that I'm sensitive to it. You Chinese are gullible. So are the Americans. The story I told X-9 was prearranged for such a situation as this. If you have sent X-9 into a death trap... Do not add what you will do to me. Not until you can be sure of what has happened to your friend. Knowing that Bura, I can have no doubt. Oh, suppose X-9 is merely held captive, so that Nabura can exchange him for me. You are thinking now of attempting to warn X-9? It is too late. I beg your pardon, Hakahima. But I shall not take your unreliable word for it. Your life will be spared if you will tell me where Hakahima is hidden. Let's confess, Nabura, I'd like to be able to tell you. But right now, Hakahima's more important to the United Nations than I am. <laughs> man on Shadow Island willing to shoot you in the back. You 
You wanted me to tell you where I had Akihima, huh? And now you will take me to him. Uh-huh. Better hurry. Lock and Takahari might be here any minute. The eyes of a woman are deadlier than her tongue. What are you doing here with X-9 in the Bureau? We're not playing blind man's bluff, Miss Moore. What's it all about, Bureau? Like a candid man. If you know what's good for you, young lady, get rid of her, Alphon. I'll take Nobura to where we're going. I will explain, Miss Moore, but not here. If you please. Permit me, Nobura. I got back to my broadcast just as fast as I could drive the speedboat, but I see now I didn't have a chance to warn Phil. How did you know about Phil? Nabora was so sure that he'd walk into a trap, he had the submarine radio Tokyo, announcing his death and Hakuhima's rescue. Chickens counted before hats never come home to roost. Fortunately, Hakuhima counted chickens, too. I'm afraid I gave myself away to her. I know. And we must protect your job with Nabura. That's a less grim way of saying, protect my life. Hakuhima is gone. Is he not X-9? Yes, Nobura. And you will not have to wait here for me. Don't move, X-9. Papa Pierre's wine cellar. Yes, I took advantage of the fact that he wasn't using it just now. I believe you. Papa Pierre attends only to his own business. Alphon may be here any minute. Shoot him. I beg your pardon, Nobura. It is impolite of me to arrive too soon. But necessary. I'll forgive you this time for being impolite, Alphon. I thought you would, Phil. And I don't regret losing Hakahima in order to save you. I'm satisfied. Ah. All we need now is Bach. But I'd trade the three of you for Akahima. Hakahima is more valuable. Based on what we know, that's an admission that Akahima is the key to the new plan against the United Nations. The plan you call 722. Your statement is equally revealing. Either you had no time to question Hakuhima, or he gave you no information. Perhaps you'll talk. If not, perhaps I can get in touch with Akihima and make a deal with him to talk, in order to save your life. Let them go, Phil. Sorry I couldn't warn you. There was Lynn popping at us. Lynn? No one else. We overheard enough to know that Nobura had Hakuhima. And as Nobura had reason to suspect Lynn, we decided to pull a quick one. Very good. That'll put Lynn in color with Nabura again. And maybe she'll be able to find out where Akihima is. Come on. You know, when I saw Alphon go into the wine cellar, I thought I'd probably find you there. It was most fortunate indeed that you acted so promptly. You will not regret it when Japan rules Australia. I suppose Bach is with Hakihima? No, please. Bach is hunting for Hakihima. Hunting for him? Then he was gone before you got to the wine cellar? Not only gone, but someone has cut the rope. Maybe it was Papa Pierre. He released you and Bach once. No, we asked him. Someone else, please. How about questioning the press? Why did you not go with Bach? I stayed to see who might come to the cellar. That was smart, Takahari. Help Bach search for Hakihima. Get more men if necessary. It is better at that than if X-9 had him. understand when I say that I need many fighting cases to hold the records of my unsuccessful efforts. Only part of them to hold the records of my accomplishments. And in conclusion, I wish to assure my worthy colleagues that I'm exhausting every means possible to gather the new explosives. But until each formula has been tested and proved practical, I should withhold it from public use. to speak to you in your cabin. Immediately, it for You are able to imitate the man's mannerisms perfectly, but you still don't speak like him. Now listen carefully. Characteristic voice inflections are much more important than tone. Run the film again, Yoga. Yeah, 
For a moment, when I heard the projection machine running in there, I thought Hakihima had returned. The man who ought to impersonate Professor Raymond must be trained regardless of Hakahima. Any news? None. But if he had been hiding to escape X-9, he would have returned by now. Yeah, someone else must be holding him. Someone, then, who knows about 722. All the more reason to hurry. We must get Raymond's formula for 722 from his files before he discovers that it is a perfect substitute for aviation gasoline instead of merely one of his unsuccessful experiments in explosives. That is correct. How about, uh, Campbell? I have waited before going to him. I will have to tell him about Hakuhima. If Campbell knew about 722, he would be even more difficult to handle. That is why I dislike telling him anything. But he must help and do it my way. If Hakuhima happens to return, I shall send word to you at the House of Shadows. No one sees you take up your position. Remain here, Bob. Nabora just flew in solo. You're telling me? She's got so much blood in her eyes, some of it's liable to spill over on the floor. Well, I think Lucky can provide the blotter this time. You do? Why? Our boss is always at his best when he's playing both ends against the middle. And so, Mr. Camber, it is of the utmost importance that you use every possible means to find my countryman, Hakihima. I own and run this island for the protection of those that pay me head tax. But they also have to obey my rules. And one of those rules is no politics. Your authority is only as good as Japan's willingness to back it up. You've been willing a long time. Better stay that way. An island in the far Pacific, neutral and without extradition laws, fitted into Japan's war plan. Yours was chosen. I didn't ask to be chosen, and I'm not taking sides in this fight. Neutral means charging everybody the same price, and that's me, neutral. I warn you for the last time, Mr. Camber. Shadow Island must be run as Japan wants it run, not as you want to run it. And I'm telling you from now on what I think, not what you or anybody else think. Even though a radio message from me to Hong Kong will bring bombers over? <laughs> bombers don't know friends from enemies. Isn't that taking a big risk with Hakuhima and 722? Where did you hear about 722? That's just what Hakuhima asked me. So, you have Hakuhima? Yes. I got tired of having you and Corrigan upsetting me. Where have you got him? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Is this a laughing matter, Mr. Camber? I anticipated that perhaps you were holding Hakuhima, so I took precautions. Where is he? I should have known better than to try to outsmart you. Hakuhima is in the old colony mine. Do not leave the House of Shadows until I return. It would be unhealthy. <laughs> you and the Boer really outsmarted each other, Camber. Thanks for the information. go here like you figured? Better, Marker. How about at the mine? Charlie and Lou are fixing things up like you want. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. Corrigan as well as Nabura. Uh. And as I reached the window, I heard a noise. Started to turn around, then something hit me on the head. Whoever took your place is still holding the gun in the window when I left Camber's office. It could have been only one man yeah, X-9. He knows that Camber is holding Hakuhima in the old colony mine. Give it a try, Lou. Try Charlie. OK. 
Okay, go back and get Hawk and Heman. I'll connect up the plunger now, and the next guy that hits that wire, I'll never know what hit him. We'll be waiting for you. You've got to walk, so I'm untying you. I wouldn't get any ideas about you. Him is run outside, but X9 got confused and thinks the chap went deeper into the mine. Yeah, but I don't know what X9's gonna get. You bet. the frame-up go? Didn't the border take the bait? Oh, you knew where I was going, huh? So long. Very little goes on around here that I don't know, Camber. You'll change your tune when you hear what Lucky's done. Maybe. Well, how's this? Corrigan heard me tell the Bora where she could find Hakahima. And Hakahima isn't there. So Corrigan is racing the Bora for the privilege of walking in a Lucky's trap at the old colony mine. Not bad. Do you know what that car means? Either X9 or all Fong is ahead of us. That being the case, we'll wait at the entrance. Into 
some kind of trap. Undoubtedly, but we had better investigate. Hakihima may have been in there. Where is my countryman, Hakihima? Didn't he come out? I wouldn't ask the question if he had. He must have got mixed up. We thought he came out. I guess he and X-9 both got it. Ah, so... With X-9 and me dead, and Hakihima his prisoner, Mr. Kamba would certainly have regained full control of his island. But now we'll make an example of him. No. We'll let Mr. Lucky Kamba believe for a while that his plan worked. Takahari. Yes. You and Bach watch the House of Shadows. I'll be on the Lorelei. on your face to make you look as much like the man in the motion picture as possible? Sure, for the money you're paying us. Dr. Harold is waiting for them. This way. I wonder which one will turn out to look the most like Raymond. What does it matter? Except that he will be the double that we use. Materially. And now, what about Chandler? I'm expecting him to give me the opportunity any moment now to teach him his lesson. Good. Now we're in the town over, Kimba. Yeah, I've been out to mine. Somebody finished off Lou and Charlie. Hmm. Might have been Nabora's man or off far. What about Nabora, Hakahima, and X9? Not a sign of them here or out there. I guess they walked into the trap. Too bad about Hakahima. He could have told you about 722. There's another way to find out. Raid the Lorelei. There's no doubt that that liner has violated the protection she got from your neutrality. So I'm taking her over, along with the Nazis and the Japs on border. Hmm. Somebody ought to be willing to talk. Convenient laws and enormous profits. Those are the things we're fighting for, aren't they? The only thing. You're not looking at a ghost. <laughs> that explosion you had set in the mine didn't get me. You have no proof I was responsible for that. No. No. But I'm willing to make a deal with you anyhow. What kind of a deal? You want that Jack Hakahima, don't you? Well, right now I don't know whether I do or not. <laughs> don't kid me. Are you sure you're not kidding me? For $50,000, I'll tell you where he is. Save your breath, Gamber. I know where he is. He's under tons of rock and dirt at the old colony mine. <laughs> well, if you know that, then you killed him. I'm very glad to hear you say that, Mr. Camber. Takahari reported your return, but he did not tell me about X-9. This is much better than I anticipated. <laughs> Go. Mr. Campbell will get him for us. I'm not taking sides. If you want Corrigan, you'll have to get him yourself. I think not. You see, I heard you accuse him of killing Hakuhima. And it was very fortunate that I came in time to hear it. 
Otherwise, I should be inclined to believe you responsible, not only for the death of my countrymen, but also for attempting to kill me. Of course, you would not want me to have that mistaken idea. So to prove your sincerity, you will follow my... my suggestion hereafter. So, Labura didn't waste any time taking advantage of the situation, and I didn't waste any time beating it. With Camber accusing you of murder in her presence, she can now compel him to arrest you. But I won't be alone. You will be an accessory after the fact. Uh, somehow I feel honored. What are we going to do now? Well, you know the island better than I do. Where can we lie low? Let me hear the help, please, you will play. about those mysterious notes and about a lot of other things too when the mystery she is explained she's always like this simple ah. <laughs> voila and over here Upstairs in the little room behind the wine cellar is the place Mama and Papa fix up for hiding their friends. You're a clever agent, Baba Bear. I never even suspected you for a minute. Mama and me? We are the three French. We must do what we can. And because the organization is not yet so perfect, it's best to work alone until La Père France is free again. S'il vous plaît. regained consciousness when I left for Lorelei, Dr. Harold. I did not think it would take so long. There's nothing to worry about. It'll be all right in the morning. When shall I send my man for Miley? I'll telephone you. This operation should be as simple as the others. All three men were chosen for the resemblance they bear to the man they are to double. Your selection was excellent, but I can't state the exact time I'll be finished. I realize that. You don't mind letting yourself out, do you? Not at all. Wait. These three reps, that is lean, telling me liberté, fraternité, égalité. Hello, Lynn. Sit yeah. down. Go ahead and eat. I heard what happened after you and the Boer left the house of shadows, Phil. And I had an idea Papa Pierre would help you. Hmm, we'd have been in a tough spot if he hadn't. Phil counts me in, too, you see. You are in, almost as deep. What'd I tell you? I must say, Papa Pierre, you know the right people to trust. Thank you. Just a compliment, that is all. Why are you not on the submarine playing the quizzling over the broadcast, eh? Nabora is doing it for me. Oh, it will be a pleasure, n'est-ce pas, listening to her on the radio. Radio? You know that I talked to Australia through code in the broadcast I make from the submarine for the Japanese. Mm -hmm. But you didn't know till now that Australia answers me in a musical program, which Papa Pierre always listens to. What do you know? It is a pleasant surprise seeing you, Nabura. We expected Miss Moore. She will not broadcast tonight. I have a confidential report for Tokyo. For military intelligence at once. Aye, aye, sir. The submarine. She 
is on the air. Japanese, you understand much better than me. They're calling Tokyo. Tokyo's answer. Nabura is reporting Hakuhima's death. But Hakuhima's death will not delay our plans concerning the men who are to impersonate the man who is the key to 722. I have the surgeon, a fugitive wanted in America for practicing without a license. And this plastic surgeon has already operated on two of the men. She is now reporting to Tokyo that he's working on the third at this very minute. Tokyo is congratulating her. They're signing off. What do you make of that? Men, motion pictures, plastic surgery. It all adds up to one thing as a key to 722. A double. Yes, but a double for whom? That's what we've still got to find out. But at last we've got a direct lead. How many so-called doctors with criminal records are on this island, do you know? There are five so-called doctors in this island. I've seen two, you've seen one. Then one of the two our Fong is investigating must be the man we want. Right. He said he was going to Dr. Harold's lab. Why don't we go there and meet him? Why not? later. I'm busy. I thought you were somebody else. My patient. Your patient is what I'm interested in. A facial operation, was it not? Whom did you make that man look like? What's the meaning of this? I will ask the questions, doctor, and if you're wise, you will answer them. Well? I don't know. You had a model? Yes, a picture which I destroyed when I finished according to orders. The ashes are there. Where are the other two men you operated on? Taken away. And this man is also going to be removed? Yes, I thought you'd been sent for. That's why I opened the door. You have given me an idea, Doctor. I see some cards and a pencil on your desk. You will write a message. Write, please. I have been called away on an urgent case. Sign your initials. Now, we will remove the patient into the adjoining room, after which you will bandage my head exactly like his. Dr. Harold evidently does not trust us. He may be smarter than we thought. What's that about? He was not smart. Merely fortunate, temporarily. We'll take care of him later. Let's get Miley out of here. Doctor, we ordered. Well, I understood it. No wonder. See who that is. 
It isn't our fault. But whoever it is, he's dead. What happened to the young Chinese who came in here? I hadn't any time to waste, Doctor, so talk and talk fast. I'm not bluffing. He... he insisted upon taking the place of my patient. And? Well, he doesn't know it, but he's going to be taken out to sea in a speedboat and thrown overboard. Sorry, but I want to be sure you'll be here when I come back to talk to you. Get some men you can trust and send them to the speedboat landing. I'll take Alphonse's car. Now, you see, Miss Dinkelmeyer, that's the way it should be sung. Shall we try it again? I'll try anything for you, Professor. Oh, that's <laughs> fine, fine. If you please, Doctor. 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 Oh! Hey. Too fortissimo, too allegro, too quantro. Oh, is that bad? It ain't good. You're supposed to be singing about the voices of spring, not the eruption of a volcano. Give with the throat, not with the bellows. Oh, oh Professor, you want it more like a bird. That's it. That's it. Uh, give me the bird. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look. Ah. Play. We've done enough for today. You might hurt your voice, you know, bend it, crack it up, break it or something. Oh, Professor, you're so considerate. I'm just crazy about you. <laughs> Don't forget, we've got another lesson Tuesday. Goggle with old razor blades. All right, Professor. I know you wouldn't want anything to happen to my throat. Except to have somebody cut it. How would you like to be married to a dame like that? Don't even say that. Oh. 
I oughta. You oughta what? I oughta be a little more careful. Well, shut up and listen. Do you remember your Uncle Caleb? Do I? Why, that old tight what heat steel flies from a blind spider. But, Champ, he's... Uh... He's a louse and a weasel. Yeah, well, he just died and left you 500,000 bucks. Just like that old skin flint. <laughs> 500,000 bucks! <laughs> Poor old Uncle Caleb. Like I was saying, he was a swell guy. Give me the shirt off his back, yeah, and throw in the buttons, too. But there's one little catch. You get the dough, provided you're married. So... <laughs> married? No. No, fellas. I'm gonna faint. Oh. Or... Or what? If you get married within 48 hours of the reading of the will. What time was that? Six o'clock the night before last. You just got seven hours to get yourself a bride. It can't be done. No woman is interested in me. Maybe not, pal. But if you look real hard, you might find one that's interested in a half a million bucks. Maybe you got something there. You're darn right he has. Do you know any girls? I got a lot of numbers, but I haven't had much luck with them lately. Well, you can't get killed for trying. Where's the phone? There's a booth down the hall. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, down, down the hall. Oh, 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 oh. Here, here's six nickels. That makes 17. You ought to hit the jackpot with one of them. Go ahead. Give me Susquehanna 2222. Two, two, two. Say, he's been in there over an hour. What are you getting nervous about? When Shemp pours on the charm, no dame can resist him. I hope you're right. Hello? Is this Ginger Gray? It is? Well, this is your little snookums. I'm about to do you a big favor. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh. 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 Hey, any luck? I've got one phone number and one nickel left. Well, start using it. Oh, you clumsy ox, you. Where'd that go? It went down here someplace. Well, let's find it. Take it over that side. Take this receiver. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right, just take it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Now, wait. Get this out of my hair here. All right. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Get off your foot. Look, look at what I got here. What is that? One of those. Yeah, and wait a minute. It leads around under my arm, then up here around the neck. That's your... Get your hand over here. Oh, all right. All right. Easy, easy. Oh, all right. Wait a minute. Come on. Oh, 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 easy. Right. Easy. All right. Now, wait a minute. Can you dial from there? No. Can you? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. If I come around like this one... Get up in this one. How's that? Well, it don't feel as good as when I did this. Oh, wait, 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 take it easy. Now, look. We ain't getting no place fast. Let's get at this thing right the right way. You want to get this off? All right, wait a minute. All right. Can't stand it anymore. It started with the book, didn't it? Mo, where's your hat? Get your hand out of my face. <laughs> that ain't my hand, that's your hand. All right, you asked for it. Ow! Ow wait, wait. Oh. Say, miss, would you like to get married? What? Get married. Well, I don't know, but you are kind of cute at that. Oh, it's not me, it's him. All right, there isn't much time left. You know that, don't you? All right. What happened? That's what I want to know. Wait a minute. <whistles> Did you get a load of that? What a dish. I wonder who she is. We'll soon find out. Oh, boy. Yes. Who's the new dame? A Miss Hopkins. Miss Hopkins? Did you hear that, kid? And good looking, too. Go get her, Shep. Oh, wait a minute. You can't propose to a girl looking like that. We gotta give you the works. Come on. Stand still, will you? We gotta get going. It's three o'clock now. Yeah? And if you don't marry that girl by six o'clock, we're out of the money. I said stand still. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mo, Mo, I'm blind. You point my eye out. Get a towel, Mo. Okay. Get a towel. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, where are the towels? In the bottom drawer. 
I got it. <laughs> you sure look funny with a Buster Brown collar. Hold that. Oh. Where are you? Here. Say, I forgot to tell you, when the afternoon papers come out, you're going to be famous. How come? I gave the story to the reporters. Yes, sir. Shemp Howard to inherit a half a million bucks. Let's get going, kid. I'm telling you to hold still now. I'm warning you. Oh, excuse me. What that was? Yeah. Oh, still. Almost had seven years for hard luck. <laughs> oh, how do you like that? I should stand still. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I cut off my head. I cut off my head. Mo, my head is off. Mo, my head is off. <laughs> my head is off. Oh. oh, there I am. And as pretty as a picture. Yeah, but Nate, oh. get gone here. Oh. This means uh, half a million dollars. I know what it means. Here you are. Boy, am I tired. Where do I throw this water? Ah! Oh. You look good. You look great, kid. You're a cinch. Go to it. Oh, my. Come on, come on. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Come in, Cousin Basil. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I, I... I've just been dying to meet you. Uh, mm, I... You're even cuter than that lady said you were. <laughs> oh, boy, success. Yeah, listen to those kisses. Cut it out. Oh, you must be exhausted after your long trip. Sit down. Let me look at you, Cousin Basil. Oh. Now, don't you go away. Hello? Yes, this is Miss Hopkins. Your Cousin Basil? Well, then who is... I was just... How dare you pretend to be my Cousin Basil? I'll teach you a thing or two. You won't. Don't you dare strike me. Taking advantage of a poor, weak, helpless woman. Boy, his kisses are getting louder. You, you, you horrible person, you! Oh. Oh. What happened, kid? Can I help it if I ain't Cousin Basil? Oh, Professor, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Oh. All I wanted to do was propose, but... Propose? Oh, Professor, this is so sudden. You mean you'll really marry him? Oh, of course, my little old dream. Boat. Your little dream boat is sailing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. You're going to sail away from a half a million bucks? We only got two hours left. Come on, get we going. Get just Come on. Come right in, folks. Say, <laughs> so here's the license. My pal wants to get married in a rush. Oh, it's splendid. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Uh, who? Mr. Howard? Yes, he's here. Hello? Yes? What? How many of them? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. That was the clerk at the apartment. Those dames you phoned this morning found out about the 500 grand in the papers. Come on, pal. We gotta make this fast. Uh, have you got the ring? Why, certainly. Certainly I got it. Oh. It went in the piano. Get it. You see anything? Yeah, wires. Listen, you. What? No, I think the piano's out of tune. Come on. I think I see it. Oh, oh. Look out. Get up out of here. Get me out of here. My face. Oh, you want to spoil my looks? Impossible. Never mind your face and get that ring. It's a quarter of six. Oh, oh I'm awful sorry. So am I. Oh, 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 Quit playing around in there and get that ring. Oh, oh, oh. oh get me out of here. Get, get me out of here. Oh, 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 o
Both of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank We're you. married. We made it. It's six o'clock and you're married. What happened? What happened? You're married. Kid, say something. You dropped your handkerchief. Get dirty. Better pick it up. Hi, Pudgy. Excuse me. Look, no flirting around here. If you pick up a girl's handkerchief, you're fired. Hey, you're too rough. You're new here, aren't you? My name's Patty. What's yours? Never mind. You can tell me some other time. See you later. She's cute. Come on. This is the caretaker's quarters. Well, you should get a caretaker to take care of it. That's just what you're for. Get busy and clean up. Okay. Come on, get busy. Hey, you. There's only one reason why I don't punch you in the nose. 
And that's because I'm bigger than you are. <laughs> I'm bigger than you are. That's a better reason. Get to it. Right, I'll get busy. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, go ahead, here. What a mess. Not in there. Put it in the waste paper basket. Slats, Clark. Hold that. Hold it easy. What are you doing? Thank you again. What are you doing? The man said clean up the place to me. Look, I'll clean this room up. You come here. You go in the kitchen there and wash the dishes. Go ahead. Why don't I just take the dishes and throw them in the spare room? Go in the kitchen. All right. Wash the dishes. All right. Go ahead, is it? What are you doing now? Go in the kitchen and wash the dishes. Go ahead. What? 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 If you want to wash your face, why don't you use a sink over there? Well, I mean, that's all. Never mind. Now get on the job and clean up this place. Get that grease spot off that wall. And wash those dishes. And I won't. Things. I won't. I won't. I will. Take care of that pan under the ice box. Now get with it. Just want to be stubborn for a second. When I said I won't, I won't, I won't. I, I, I knew I was going to say I will. <laughs> I usually do. Oh, I don't know what I'll ever do with you. Always 
getting me into trouble. You're always doing something. That's all. Get rid of it. Go away. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Turn around. I can't get the legs open. Turn around. Turn around. I can't get my legs open. Well, turn around. Hey, now here. Hold up. Hey. Never mind that. Take this off. Hey, uh, get off the pad. Turn around. Get my hand off the pad. My hand off the pad. Hold still. you've been enjoying Secret Agent X9 with Lloyd Bridges. Join us next week for chapters 11 through 13 and we'll have a few shorts afterwards. So stay safe, wear a mask, and wash your hands. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Don O'Malley from Don's Breakfast Series.